Get in that. And you begin his ministry. And they were torn in but I'll be standing here. Y'all can look at tonight. In 1 John chapter 2. This is a little bit of God's word in there for a, a nugget. And I guess I'm up. I'll just go ahead and start at number number one so it all sounds a little better when we're tied all in. My children, my little children, these things I write to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he himself is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours only, but also for the whole world. Now, by this we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. And he who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, truly the love of God is perfected in him. And by this we know that we are in him. And the word here perfected means to complete, accomplish, or carry through to the end, or bring a successful conclusion, reach a goal, or fulfill so in the ethical and spiritual sense, the word signifies a bringing to maturity, a perfecting. So let me read that verse again. But whoever keeps his word truly, the love of God is perfected in him. And the love of God being perfected in him is just like it is in our life. We already understand that is a continual daily process causing a perfection to come forth in our lives. Being perfect, we are perfect in His love. All that is about Him is that as we're growing in His mercy, His grace, and being perfected, being perfect, being mature in the things of God in the spiritual sense, we are being His children. He's raising us up a family of God. Without doubt and wrath, not you know, running back in some force and uh, you know, think one you know, is, is above the other or whatever. No, we're, we're, we are all the same. We are one in Him. God's raising up a church of one. There's one spirit, one mind, one unity of church of one. That we all have the same mind, same same uh, sense of, uh, of loving and understanding Him. The perfect will of God being flowing through our no questions, just doing it. That's what He's raising up. He said, He who says he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. We must be walking just like Jesus. You anybody know how Jesus walked? Yeah. This is it here. We've got the word on it. We've got the prescription how Jesus walked. Mm -hmm. You want to please the Father? Walk like Jesus. Do like Jesus. Act like Jesus. When the body of Christ began to act like Jesus, then we'll be that perfected church and God's coming back after mm -hmm. When we begin to walk in love, when we begin to do all the things that He said, when we begin to look with a, a, a heart full of compassion and love on the person, we just say, in the name of Jesus, get up your heel. We begin to walk in the new anointing because instead of, uh, uh, oh Lord, I don't know where I should pray for this. I don't know if He's going to be here. We just know whatever I say, when I speak, it's going to be done. There's a, a, an anointing that we, the church, are supposed to be walking in where there's no worries. I know it's going to do it. There's certain things that you know about God, aren't there? Mm -hmm. There's certain things that you know He does. Because you ask and He does it. Certain things. But not everything. But everything that we ask will be done. We believe. Whatsoever things you desire, we pray. Believe that you receive. Believe. Believe we're walking in order. I mean, who's going to cause the greater to come forth? You are. You are. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. God's got. He's already done that. Mm -hmm. He's already anointed us. First Corinthians, the last verse in chapter, of chapter one. It is God who has anointed you. Mm -hmm. When did He do it? In the very beginning. Mm -hmm. When he said, I knew you before you were even formed. Mm -hmm. That's when he put his anointing in us. That's when he gave us the ability to stand. We just got to walk into it. We got to step into that. He's already done for us. It's done. He's not going to come back and sit on the throne here. Not while we're here now. 
and 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 say, okay, now this is some more little rules, more regular. It's already done. He's waiting on us to carry it all out. He's waiting on us to step in the position He's called us and set us up for. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, He formed me and He put His Spirit in me. Then He knew my name then. He knew me then. He put my name in the book then. Not when I accepted it. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, before I was even on the earth, my name was in the book. Mm -hmm. When did He anoint me? Then. Mm -hmm. Why do you, and God's Word said, He ain't no person to give you something and take it back. Mm -mm. What He gives you is yours. That's right. And you know, sometimes we don't understand. I don't understand to the full extent of what I'm going to be walking in. You don't either, not yet. That's right. But ask me, ask me a day after I'm in heaven, I can tell you. That's mm -mm. <laughs> all about the only way anyone else. Because you know, it's not that God's going to change my anointing. I'm going to change. I walk in the fullness of it. Listen, we already got all power in us. Mm -hmm. All power. He's given us authority in the name of Jesus. All power. Mm -hmm. We're not walking in it yet. That's right. Oh, I'm, not, I'm so unworthy. Y'all heard that so much. I'm just so unworthy. Oh, Lord, if you, I'm just so... We, we hear that so much, and it, you know, it, next time you hear it, it just about make you sick. <laughs> because what they're seeing, they're having. Whatsoever things you desire, whatsoever things you say, whatever it is, that's, that's what you can have. And, and they're walking in defeat already. When they open up their mouth, they're walking in defeat. Amen. And if that's you, I'm sorry, you're walking in the feet. Time you open your ground. Sometimes you just need to be quiet. Don't we? Amen. Sometimes instead of just saying how we feel, we just zip it up, don't say nothing. That's right. So let me think about this a while. It's begin to think on God's goodness, what He's already done for you. Right. Instead of when you, you want to have a pity for it, just keep your mouth shut a minute and just begin to think about what He's brought you from. Amen. How He's touched your life and changed you. And, and, and kept you all your years that you are, ever how many years that is, He's kept you. That's right. We kept people. Amen. Even when we were out there in sin trying to do damage to our bodies, He kept us. Yes, He did. Because we're here now. I mean, if the devil had his way, we'd have been wiped out. We were already that far out in, into Him that He could have wiped us out. And, but He could not do that because our names were in the book. Thank God for God's work that was done. God's work's not going to go unfinished. We might go through a lot of trials and problems before this outer shell when a man gets ready. There is an outer shell that's got to be prepared to be ready. The inner man is not going to come out until the outer man takes it to the place. That's why we have spiritual warfare daily right here. Mm -hmm. Spirit is willing. But the flesh is weak. Oh, I just can't go. I can't. I, 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 I got to rest before I can go to another service. You want to give up on God? Mm -mm. <laughs> That's what you're doing when you let your flesh rule. That's right. The spirit man ain't going to ever say, won't you stay home tonight? Mm -mm. He might say, won't you stay home from work and let's fellowship today. But he ain't going to tell you, no, no, don't go to church tonight. That's just me and you stay. Oh, it's... Take that fellowship you got with him right on the church. So everybody right. Walk into the church saturated in the power of God and everybody else will look. Oh, she's already ahead of us. How are we going to catch up? Don't you know sometimes you get in this, you go to a service and they've already been praying for an hour and they come out already ahead of you and you can't catch up with them. How am I going to catch up with them? Look where they're at all then. How are we going to catch up with them? Well, you, you know what? You can. That's right. That's what's good. You can. You just, you just got to get away, just get caught up. Because mm. you can. That's because right. God's, God's plan is so... It, mm -hmm. He says, just come on up. Come up here. Sure. In our praise and our worship, we're coming up together. We're coming to the throne room. And I pray our, work, our prayers. We come, he said, you know, bring your petition before me. Where is he at? In the throne room. Bring it to me. Come on up. Boldly. Boldly. Come on. You're my children. You ain't got to slip in and try to sneak around the corner and peep and see how I'm feeling. Come on. Mm -hmm. Boldly to the throne. 